In this video, I'm going over building programs from source. This is something that is needed and if you're on any distribution, you really should know how to do. But the beauty of it is you don't need to rely on package managers and thus freeing yourself from, oh, I have to use Debian-based distributions for this one package. Because it's so nice just being able to download the source, compile the program on any Linux box, no matter if it's a Gentoo box, if it's a Debian box, Ubuntu, uh, Fedora, you name the distribution. A lot of times you can just download the source, compile it, and then just have it work on your Linux distribution. So that's the power of building your own Linux-based programs. You're not beholden to anybody making the package for you. You can just do it yourself. So let's go ahead and jump over to the desktop and check this out on how to build a project in Linux. Okay, so the very first thing when building uh, something from source, almost always it comes from GitHub or GitLab or a source like that. Sometimes it comes in a tar file as well, so I'll explain both those methods coming up, but first you need to make sure you have all your dependencies I do this with just a simple apt install build essentials and then I also make sure git is in there. Git is for GitHub and that's G-I-T. With these installed, you're pretty much ready to go. You might have like GCC, Automake, uh, some other tools that you might need to install. Just make sure to install those as they pop up. But I'm gonna show you how you need to actually install those here in a few. So we have the essentials installed. Let's go ahead and get going on a project or a sample build. Okay, so I did some hunting around for a good project to build. I made a build directory in my home, which anytime you build something, obviously that's what you do. And then we get in here and we're gonna go ahead and clone this right here. It's an X11 audio visualizer. I wanna get like Monster Cat and some other stuff visualized on my desktop. So. Uh, this should be a, like a kind of a fun project to build. So we'll go ahead and do getting started and it says, hey, clone this and install it. Obviously it kind of shows all the dependencies you need to install. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and jump right into the build process, but definitely make sure you install those dependencies. So we'll do git clone and then just do a listing and we'll just CD into that directory. From here, we can go into CD. So we're gonna make directory build, CD into the build, and then cmake dot dot. So let's see what we got here. It looks like it did build successfully. Whenever you do a cmake, be looking for errors or this package is not found then copy and paste that package not found into either an APT search or getting on Google and saying, hey, this package not found and then your distribution because everyone has a little bit different dependencies when building. Um, just know it's usually not this easy. I'm kind of surprised this worked out of the gate. So with this built, we can just go into a make. So we're gonna do a make dash J8. Now, normally you would do whatever your processor count is. Mine's eight. If you're on a quad core, do four. If you're on like a dual core, a really crappy PC, do J2. Um, and then let's go ahead and make it. So we went ahead and it built this project from the make. Now we can actually install this. So uh, let's go ahead and flip back over and see what we have. So it says, hey, install manually by doing this, uh, make dash install, or you can change the prefix if you like. So with this, I think we can just go ahead and do it. So let's just do a make install. Um, whenever you do a make install, you need to run as sudo. I think they omitted that in the instructions there. So with that, we went ahead and installed all this, and I think we're pretty much ready to use this project. So this was a successful build. However, uh, a lot of times you don't uh, go through this exact process. A lot of times, many of them will do dot .configure, and that is actually kind of like the build process. That's like the CMake. 
which you know with this it, it's fine so once you've done that and we've done, installed it just remember when you do the make install that always needs to be done as super user and with that this program is installed on our system and we're good to go so no worries here i really picked a good project to do for a make usually you run into a lot of issues especially if you're on a newer linux install and you're trying to install a really old package a lot of times you have problems you're gonna have to add repositories and go hunt down tons of dependencies for really old projects so the newer project is the better off you are just as a general rule of thumb as we see here most of this project is done in the last six months so that's probably why we didn't have very many issues and their build instructions were pretty great the only criticism i have about the build instructions is again omitting the sudo for the make install because you got to remember doing a make install as your user you're not running as root and it can't write to the user.local in many cases um so that's why I always do sudo make install. But other than that, you don't need to run sudo for any of these other commands because those are all done in your home directory, which you have permissions to. So there you have it. That is building a program in Linux. It's a little more complicated than this when you run into a lot more errors. Tracking down some of those packages not found sometimes can be a complete headache, especially on older uh, programs or if you're running a really old distribution and you're trying to compile a new a uh, piece of program a lot of times those dependencies just simply don't exist for you and there's no real easy error message to show you that other than you googling it and finding out that dependency is just not capable of being installed on like an old distribution but uh i'm on usually a very new distribution so for me it's more of just going back in time and tracking down some of these old dependencies and linking them up with the new so uh, anything's possible you can build pretty much whatever you want in linux just know uh, difficulties range from this where it's super easy it's a newer built-in uh, make file everything works out of the box i pretty much got no dependency errors which is rare it, especially for this i do build a lot of stuff on the system so the more stuff you build typically uh, the more dependencies you have installed and the less errors you get but just know a lot of times it isn't a cakewalk as this was a lot of times you do need to hunt those down can't emphasize that enough but don't get discouraged because it is such a powerful thing but let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section below and a big shout out to my patreons without you i couldn't make these videos and i'll see you on the next video